Hey there, I'm struggling to make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. Let's go find some help. The mathematical habits of mind nurture stronger, more skilled mathematicians. Applying the habits of mind enables math to be the common factor that unites us all. We're here in beautiful downtown Charleston, West Virginia to learn about city governments across the state and how they utilize the mathematical habits of mind. Today, we are focusing on making sense of problems and persevering in solving them. Every city, big or small, has problems to deal with. For the city of Charleston, that responsibility falls on the Honorable Mayor Goodwin, our special guest today. Thank you for being here. Well, thanks for having me, and uh, welcome to beautiful downtown Charleston. It's a gorgeous day, Mother Nature. She's been great to us. She is, she is, yeah. it is awesome. City governments make sense and persevere in solving how to allocate revenue. Will you tell us how you balance priorities of the city? We have over a hundred million dollar budget in the city of Charleston. Wow. But that's to take care of the 750 employees that we have to pay. It requires us to keep up with the roads, keep up with the lights, making sure that downtown uh, is clean and beautiful. But you know, any challenge, like I said, large or small, always should begin with the consideration of What's the best and highest use for this return on investment? What's the best and highest use for the majority of our citizens? As a resident of the city of Charleston, that is greatly appreciated. Now, let's talk about another issue everyone has to deal with, traffic. When it comes to big events in cities like Charleston, the Live on the Levee or the Charleston Sternwheel Regatta, we have to consider how people might be traveling around the city and prioritize safety. So how do you make sense of those traffic problems and issues to ensure that everyone has an enjoyable time traveling around the city of Charleston. Absolutely. Well, we're on Canal Boulevard, which is one of the main thoroughfares through the city. There are more than 8,300 cars just on a normal day that go through this area. So we have to always consider how long should each stoplight be for the next group of cars. So there is literally a mathematical equation at every single stoplight that you hit, or by the way, that you don't hit when you're coming through Canal awesome. Boulevard. When you talk about special events, the Charleston Sternwheel Regatta <laughs> had over 220,000 wow. people that were just in a couple block area. That takes a lot of coordination with our traffic and engineering department, with our communications department. We also need to tell folks, hey, don't come the boulevard way. We've got a big fair or festival going on. Wow, that is that is fascinating and amazing. Communication, collaboration, so important and essential to make those work. And I think you said so many powerful things that we can take away from this conversation today, but we'd like to leave our audience with just one final thought. So how, what advice do you have for our students and families about making sense of problems and persevering and solving them? <laughs> yeah. I have, I have children myself, so I'll just say, I, I try to uh, instill in them the value of, we live in such a fast-paced society now. In an instant, we want an answer, we expect an answer. Pause, pause before making a decision. Be thoughtful, be reflective. Um, bring people to the table that you trust and respect to help you troubleshoot and figure out the answer to that problem. You're not in a rush, take your time. Be thoughtful about things because if you do that at the end of the day i promise you the end result will be far and away better awesome wow what fantastic insight we have today thank you so much mayor goodman for being here with us thanks for having me and spending time with us and this is just an opportunity for us to highlight how mathematical habits of mind are there in everyday life for you all everyone is a mathematician join us next time as we continue to explore the connections between math and the world around us we are all math people when we nurture our skills and recognize the common factors. Let's unite with numeracy.